everything what you need in a custom room is present in this one which custom room i am talking about in this video i'm talking about project is the ferris which is kind of most underrated custom rooms not exactly this is the one but there are many and this is one of them this is project zephyrus and if you don't know this custom room this is also kind of same like other custom rooms which is having all the pixel features and else but this custom room is just super good because it includes a lot of customization stability everything what you need is available here we'll talk about some of the things in this video so stay tuned and let's quickly move on to the default launcher the default launcher is of course as expectedly we are having pixel kind of launcher but it's not the pixel launcher you just notice we have hidden and protected apps feature we have the icon pack support which is one of the must have things in a custom launcher if I, if you are using a custom home you definitely need that especially i need that and it's there we have the options related to recents we have the options related to status bar we have the options related to themed icons and much more and you will definitely love this thing after using this one if i move on to the quick settings panel as expectedly we have the light quick settings panel if you use the light mode if you use the dark mode you will see the dark quick settings panel also the hotspot option is also present in the internet tile and other extra tiles options are also there like separate wi-fi and mobile data tiles and refresh rate etc etc if i move on to the settings ui you'll be able to see there are no major new things etc etc nothing unique and actually this is not having much customizations if you take a look at this settings ui but it is still having a lot more what are those customizations we'll talk about that if we move on to the network and internet settings you will see the data usage option is there which is of course kind of really useful 4g icon option and we have the network speed indicator where even you can customize that you have the option to customize that display mode the new thing which i found here is this connected devices option where you have the bluetooth tile customization for example if you one click if you single click there what you want to do if you want to toggle bluetooth or you want to open that panel it's totally up to you and same like that if you if you click if you long click that bluetooth tile what you want to do you want to do the you want to open the pairing settings or you want to do something else everything is what you can customize so that's really different really interesting one you will definitely love this if i move on to the app section as expectedly the game space options are already there for example the same kind of game space in other custom homes so not a big deal nothing new if you take a look at the notification customizations um this is also having this feature called make heads up less annoying heads up customizations are there and the less annoying feature is super useful you also have the edge lighting feature available which is customizable you can customize that too and some other options are really really useful if i move on to the battery options you will be able to see we have the options related to battery icons as expectedly where you can customize the battery style but it's completely fine there are no extra styles customizations like ancient os or iceroid but that's just okay okay they are those custom those custom homes are already there and the project if it is don't need them sound and vibration options includes that vibrate to indicate call status which is one of my favorite and other options basically same mute media volume on silent is a very useful feature here come some customizations in display settings for example the customizations related to brightness slider you just noticed brightness slider visibility show in quick settings panel and show in quick quick settings panel and also the brightness slider at the bottom things which you can customize for example we have appearance icon manager volty and wo wifi icons are not present so keep this thing in your mind quick setting tiles options are there and the almost same kind of options desktop mode is also included the same thing which is available in libre mobile os which is lmo droid i made a video on that custom room already so if you haven't checked it out yet make sure to check out that wallpapers and styles here come some of the new things themed icons and uh, this uh, launcher also supports the custom uh, themed icons sorry custom themed icons and the custom icon pack both so if you move on to the home settings and if you use the default icons you'll be able to customize the default icon pack simply move on here and you can simply customize the themed icons once again move on to themed icons option choose the system icons and then the ferris launcher you will be able to see these themed icons are present and themed icons looks absolutely brilliant 
Last but not the least, some gestures options include this one of my favorite features called narrow IME space. Three type of options are there, hide navigation bar and pill, remove the navigation bar hide while keeping the gesture pill or narrow that space below the keyboard. So all these options are super useful. Also supports OTA, but I haven't checked it out. So it's up to you if you want to check it out. These were things I just want to let you know. Thanks for watching. Link is available in the description. Goodbye.